whole time. Hi guys, it's Adam and welcome to another video. So in this one, I'm going to be showing you my charity shop pickups for the last couple of days. So yeah, some okay items really the last couple of days. Uh, one really good item which I'll show you at the end, so be sure to stick around till the end to find out what that one is. Really cool item. Um, but yeah, I'll just sort of dive into it. So first off, I got these yesterday for a pound. The only reason I picked them up is because they're brand new with tags. Um, and I'm trying to get into shoes as well as clothing. I thought while I'm doing clothing, I may as well start getting into shoes a little bit more as well. They are Soul Cal and Co. Um, California pink pumps, I don't know, pink women's pumps. Um, but yeah, obviously brand new with tags, I thought for a quid, there's got to be some money in them. I've listed them at £15 plus postage. But if I need to uh, if I need to reduce it, then I will do. Um, I saw that I, I couldn't find any of these on, which is quite odd because I'm sure these aren't uncommon or anything. Um, but I thought, you know what, I'll, I'll just sort of take a stab in the dark at 15 quid. And if I need to reduce to a tenner plus postage, then I'll do that. So yeah. Anyway, that's those. Um, what else? What else? Oh yeah, this thing down here. Um, I got this yesterday wherever the little tag is there it is well not the tag but the badge or whatever you want to call it um, it's a Schmock I think that's how you pronounce it Schmock Combat Windproof MTP um, and yeah it looks like a pretty official thing very heavy heavy duty um, it's got like the pads on the arms well that one the pad isn't on that arm but it's on the other arm can you see there, a little British army thing, pad thing. Um, but yeah, so it looks pretty cool. Um, I'm still not really sure on price with this one. I'll just hold it up like that so you can see it a bit better. Um, but yeah, I'm still not too sure on price with this one, but I paid two quid and I'm thinking around about the £30 on this. Maybe slightly less. I have seen certain ones go for slightly less and I've seen other ones go for slightly more. But I'm thinking around that sort of price, so yeah, that's that one anyway, pretty cool item. Um, so from two quid, that was a no-brainer anyway. Um, right, what else? I've got this bag here now. Um, oh yeah, yeah, I took a punt on some more women's clothing. Um, so I got these like sort of, oh, what material is this? Oh, I don't know, I can't, I'm not good with materials and stuff, but... I've definitely felt that material before. It's like, it almost feels like velvet in a way. Um, but I don't think it is velvet. It must be something similar though. Um, but these are Bowden. And they're just sort of like brown women's trousers. I don't really know how other to describe them. Um, and I picked them up because they were two quid in the little charity shop sale thing. They're marked down to two quid from four pound. And I thought, Bowden, yeah, they could go for a bit of money at least. So, don't really know on price, but I thought I'd just show you them quickly anyway. So, that's those. Um, so, yeah, that's those anyway. I thought, two quid, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to, whenever charity shops have got a bit of a sale on or something, I'll have a look through the sale wheels and, you know, if I make a couple of fails, you know, one or two pound, it's, it's not much I've lost really, is it? So, um... So I got some more, I got another, oh what's this here, oh this is my, um, oh what's coming now, oh my new printer, right I'm just going to pause the video here so I can go down and, and get the man, uh, get the printer off the man, you know what I mean. Right, there we go, back, so, um, I was also just going to say before I was interrupted, um, that I got these women's trousers as well, same charity shop. And these are a brand that I've heard of before, and I'm sure people have said it's like it's half decent at least. Um, and that is East. Um, and again, I don't really know, like they're just sort of... I don't know, they look weird these trousers because they've got like no zipper or anything. You know, see there? It's just like, there's no zipper or anything, so... Oh, oh, here it is. It's on the side. 
Yeah, I don't know. I don't even know what I'm doing. You can obviously tell that. I, don't, I have no knowledge of women's clothing whatsoever. Um, but I thought, where is it? Where is it? For one pound, I thought, yeah. I mean, even if that's like almost a complete fail, like I'll get a fiver out of it or something. You know, I've probably still made like the princely sum of like 10p profit. So, yeah, I thought even if it's a fail, I can probably even still squeeze a little bit of profit out of it. Um, so yeah, that's that one. Um, I got this box set that was scanning at like 20 quid to Amazon, new and sealed. Um, Stephen Wonder, no, sorry, Seven Wonders. I thought that said Stephen, Stephen Wonders. Anyway, Seven Wonders of the Industrial World. Yeah, these sort of things do okay, but some of them are like really like bad and not even you know not even worth anything but others um other niche ones can be worth some money so yeah that's that one you i got faulty towers for 50p that was and that was scanning it like eight nine pounds so you know bread and butter stuff and then finally i took a punt on these again in the same shop for two pound and i don't really know about these i don't know no, you know i've never really heard anyone talk about tracksuit bottoms or you know like swazinger nike that sort of stuff um as being worth anything but i thought you know what i'll take a punt on them and I, what i'll do when, when i'm researching these i'll have a research of other brands of like tracksuit bottoms and things like that and sportswear um and then i'll see whether it's actually worth picking up in the future so i thought you know what even if these are a fail, I'll have, I'll have earned some good good knowledge on the back of it. So, yeah, pick those up for two quid. We'll see. We'll see. I don't know. They might not be worth anything, but, yeah. Anyway, that's those. So, uh, I did check condition. I am getting really good at just making sure that when I'm buying clothing, I'm really, really checking condition now. Um, I'm sort of holding myself to it and just really looking at the the items and stuff and I think that's the best way to be so even with anything like video games and I always slack off with video games I always forget to check the discs but with clothing I don't for some reason maybe it's because I'm less confident with clothing I feel like I really need to stay on the ball um, but when you get more confident with something like I am a bit more confident with video games I, I seem to slack off a little bit. I don't know whether it's the same for other people, but I forget to check discs and condition and things like that. And, and yeah, that can really sort of harm you. So, yeah, it's always best to stay on the ball and just keep checking condition and whether discs are in cases and all that sort of stuff. But anyway, I'll stop rambling now. Oh, sorry, no, one more item. I forgot. I nearly forgot. This is the best item as well. Granted, we do need a clean up. So I've got this one here, one sec, I'll just put that down. These are mucking out boots, and I really don't want to touch the bottom, because you don't know what's been on the bottom, but anyway, they are dirty, and they need a good clean up. Um, but they are from, don't know if you're going to be able to see that in there, I don't think you will. Oh yeah, maybe, Dublin. Uh, they're from Dublin, which is a make I've never heard of. I don't really do much riding, horse riding stuff, but there is fantastic money in it. Um, and yeah, they need a good, good uh, clean up. I've got the other one down here, and I've seen these exact boots go used for 80 quid plus postage, and I paid 20 pounds, and it's in this one here. And I paid. Don't know if you're gonna see that can't really get the oh I know just break it off yeah anyway 1999 and uh, yeah I was quite happy to pay 20 quid to get 80 quid back um, so yeah that's them anyway so that was the best find of the day really glad I got a score that was over 50 quid because I've not had a score that's like over 50 quid in about two weeks um, so yeah I thought I really am due a score of, of over 50 quid so yeah they were good um, I will tell you when they sell as well, give them a good clean up, do some nice photos and yeah, tell you when they sell. So I'll leave it there guys, thank you for watching, don't forget to uh, visit me, all the links down below and yeah, give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already 
and I will see you in the next one. Bye for now, guys. Hope you enjoyed that video, guys. Don't forget to go down below for exclusive content, all free, over on my website and blog. Updated every week just for you guys. So, see you over there.